respectively. And we're underway. Barrera's going to get us started with a long ball. A little bit dangerous already there. Uh, Goni touched it around the CFC defense. Uh, but CFC's going to maintain possession as we get going. LA Force with some early possession here now. Colwell. Out to Seamus McLaughlin. Casillas. Back to McLaughlin. LA Force just feeling out CFC's pressure. It is a back three, but Colwell is joining midfield which is something to watch for, and Sam Goney's going to be offside. That's pretty typical Sam Goney, looking for that gap and uh, diving into it. He'll, de he'll definitely be looking backs. to get in behind the defense, make those runs. CFC yeah. uh, is going to have to be uh, careful and aware. They must be alert, and they should know Sammy. And to hold the line. Yes, definitely. So he's going to be testing uh, Russell Spoon and Dixon, the back three tonight. And that should be interesting, playing against them as a, an opponent rather than a teammate for them both. Um, I mentioned um, Richard Dixon there earlier. He's playing his 150th pro game tonight. Not all with CFC, but uh, 150 pro games. Quite a good achievement. Um, Massive accomplishment for absolutely. Richard. A testament to his career. Absolutely. There was a short feature on Richard on, on social media uh, earlier today. And uh, it's like uh, he's really enjoying his soccer. Turnover in midfield, but Kasak's able to, to clean it up. And LA Force is going to press a little bit here. Yeah, I think they are. They may have watched some of the games from previous weeks and Chattanooga's been able to sit back against some of the other teams we play. LA Force seems to be going to intercept the ball as much as they can. Yeah, now Al Alwine, who just uh, made the cut out there, is a pretty aggressive center midfielder. Uh, he's always looking to, to cut out passing lanes. To, uh, Richard Dixon's not going to get called for a foul there. To cut out passing no. lanes, to steal the ball, to start counterattacks. Uh, Alwine's number 25 for LA Force, very, very good at that. Uh, and you can see he sprung a counter right there. Uh, and and Dixon's a little bit fortunate, possibly, to not get called for a foul. Well, I think both teams are still thinking about it, as they often do. They see how much they can get away with and uh, see if they can find a weak spot. So that's just part of that. Trying to get past Richard and seeing how, how long he can go before he reacts. <laughs> Reddington goes long towards Hofstadter. And it looks like they're calling a foul on Richard Dixon for the header attempt. Barrera gets this back underway towards Colwell. McLaughlin. Nothing doing. He's going back to Colwell. Sam Goni is offside again. When he gets one of those and he's onside, watch out. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, it only takes one for, for Sam Goni to be wide open. He will take advantage of that. And he will stretch this running to the goal, I'm sure. Quite a cagey first few minutes here. It is, isn't it? We've seen some other games where it's been a little bit more, uh, you know, put those teams going for it. And this one, there, we'll see, found each other out. Trying to find out where the boats are, where the weak spots are. Brett Jones touched that one last. So it'll be an LA Force throw in. Hernandez in behind towards Daniel Jackson. Colwell's going to get there first. He's just going to play out of out of bounds for a CFC throw-in. We'll see if uh, the CFC takes a standard throw-in or if they go for Hofstadter for the long throw, and it's going to be Russell for a standard. Chandler's his first chance to build a bit of aggression. Let's see if he can put some pressure on the way for in the first real attack of the game. Russell might go long here. Mm -hmm. They might. Shot attempt, and it's going to be wide from Tate Robertson. Not a bad idea. Absolutely. Some of those have been very successful. They stretched the keeper, and he's not expecting it. So, I'm having time in those early in the game. 
Now let's see what CFC does here with the defense. It looks like LA Force is going to play short. A little bit of pressure, but not on the keeper. And here comes the pressure. Oh, and a total of opportunity. Robertson now steals it. Hofstadter. What can Hofstadter do? He loses the ball in the middle of the field. Barrera gives off to, I believe that's Madrigal. Ivanovsky. Barrera again. He's got Goni and he's got Casillas. If he can find him, Richard Dixon makes a probably a goal-saving challenge right there. Very Take the ball away. Yeah, very important. And Reddington's going to launch to try to get it out of there, but no further than Ciro. Ciro Reese, who's going to commit the foul. Folks, that's how quick this game can turn. LA Force can counter in a hurry. They really are a fast-moving team. I think Alvin is going to be a bit more careful where he plays the ball out. Make sure it goes to the blue shirt. I uh, can't hope they'll get on the end of that test big enough to put Because LA Force again counts on mistakes like that. This portion of the uh, broadcast will be tonight by the Henry Box. Robson just waiting for the referee's signal, and there it comes. Reddington just goes long instead. Looks like Jackson and Jones were offside, so they had to let it run. But some good pressure is going to force a long Brandon Gomez kick. Kasek's able to steal the ball. No trouble done. Going to be a test of stamina tonight, Matt. These guys are playing at this speed the oh, whole yeah. game. It'll be interesting to see which team is fittest. Spielman now. Down to Dixon. Dixon's going to go long towards Juan Hernandez. Back heels to Daniel Jackson. Daniel Jackson's got Brett Jones. Brett Jones can't do anything with it, tries to flick it to Hernandez. But it's read well by LA Force. Ivanovsky now. Back to Colwell, who just gives it straight to Nick Spielman. We've seen a lot of that already. A little bit of back and forth. Not a bad strategy if you're uh, if you're either team. There's nothing there. You just dump it downfield and reset your defense. Jackson now to Dixon to the 18-year-old Damian Rodriguez. Back heel towards Richard Dixon. Ref could have possibly called a foul there, but elects not to. The LA Force Dame, maintained possession. Damian Rodriguez is not overawed by playing against these older and more experienced players. He's Absolutely just stuck not. In, which I love to see. I think that's why Coach Phil has picked him because he's just not afraid of anyone. He's <laughs> definitely not afraid of anyone. You watch him. You watch him play, whether it's in a game or in training, uh, and and he's a force to be reckoned with. Even even at 18 years old, mm -hmm. just coming off his his senior year of high school. Right. Barrera now. Well, things like that certainly improve his confidence. The more he plays, the stronger he gets. Yes, I would, I would, I would agree with that and as well. I'm seeing that in each game, so that's great to see. And now it's to to Ciro. Back to Colwell. Slow down a little bit now. <laughs> Seamus McLaughlin. Herrera. Back to McLaughlin. LA Force just content to hold the ball for a little bit here. Colwell out to Ivanovsky. Looking just to pass, pass from side to side to try to open up a gap. And Brandon Gomez getting involved there, the LA Force goalkeeper. Bit of a heavy touch there by Sam Goni. Damian Rodriguez now. Spielman. It's going to be out of play for a throw in. Bit of a miscommunication there from Jackson and Hernandez. LA Force will go all the way back to Brandon Gomez to reset. LA Force playing a fairly high line tonight. You can't play the offside trap and uh, be in the middle third of the field almost. Yeah, conversely, CFC's playing a bit of a mid block here. Mm -hmm. not, not sitting in all the way, but not pressing super high, trying to make things compact as possible in the middle third of the field. McLaughlin now. He's going to go over the top. He's got Barrera as an option. Spielman defending. Barrera turning. 
still turning. Tate Robertson's going to take it away. Damian Rodriguez now. And he's just going to go off the line and out of play. Good play from Chattanooga. Calm defending. No panicking there when we have the players in the box. Casillas gets this underway towards Alwine. Barrera back to Alwine now. Russell with a big step. Launch the ball back towards. That'll be Alshaseda. Gomez and now McLaughlin. CFC content to have a little bit of LA Force possession. Kolar is going to go all the way wide to Alwine. He's veered out left. Played it inside towards Sam Goni. Goni goes back to Alwine. Now Alwine back to Seamus McLaughlin. Now it's Colwell. Looking for an option. He goes wide. Pass ends up finding Sam Goni. And a cross coming in. Casillas down to Barrera. Nick Spielman's going to clear. That's a great clearance for Spielman. A good ball in, too. Yep. Uh, a great touch back by Casillas to find Diego Barrera. Oh. And the ref's going to call a foul for something. <laughs> Looks like he clipped the back of his boots, actually, and uh, one of the defenders. Based on the way he, got, he went down, I might want to check the roof for a sniper. <laughs> Took Barrera down there, but yeah, that's <laughs> all part of the training, the drama lessons. Great value for money for so many teams. <laughs> It'll be Diego Barrera on the free kick. All right, first real threat from quite LA Force. A, yeah, quite a dangerous opportunity Absolutely. here. LA Force scored from, from a similar sort of range and placement in the Nisa Spring semifinal match against CFC. This is the stuff they practice in the training ground. So let's we'll see what they do. Referee's ready to go, and here comes Barrera. Floats it. Header is away. Ibanoski now. Hernandez back defending, and he heads it right back to Alec Reddington. That's cool the, as a cucumber right there. I think it was a chest back. I'm not sure, but it was very, very cool to do that. <laughs> Reddington was looking long there for Daniel Jackson, who's off your screen uh, at the moment. But he's going to hold and go out to Nick Spielman. Russell now. Out to Richard Dixon. Dixon to Jackson. Leaves a little bit of short, a little bit short for Damian Rodriguez. LA Force looking to go. It's Madrigal now. Now Wine's just going to play out of play. Hernandez flicks it on. Sean Russell right in the perfect place at the perfect time. Uh, but Sean Hofstadter can't handle the pass. And LA Force is back going the other way, but Russell's there again. There he is again, doing great. Hernandez, now the break's underway. James Kasak now. Kasak's going to slow things up, let some, let some teammates come into the play. Tries to go with a big diagonal toward Damian Rodriguez. It's in the middle of the field and cut out. And we're back to Brandon Gomez. Things getting a little bit more interesting now. Colo's going to go long towards Nick Spielman, who's just going to head it out of play. Quick throw in now. It's Ciro Reese going to play out wide towards Casillas. Damian Rodriguez with a nice takeaway there. And Juan Hernandez playing a little defense. I think that's Sean Hofstadter with the clearance all the way out. And Seamus McLaughlin for LA Force will reset things. 15th minute now. No chances for either side. The most the goalkeepers have done for either side has just been to play a little bit of in session. Alwine. Sierra Reese again. 
Goes out wide to the overlapping right center back. Archiseta had a goal, uh, the game-tying goal against against CFC in that Nisa spring semifinal. The ref's going to give a foul against Sean Russell there. Interesting. I thought it was Sean Powell going the other way. <laughs> but, uh, both sides quick, and uh, both sides quick, spreading it wide across the field. Um, not staying on one side, they're changing sides, trying to confuse the defence. Uh, both teams kind of playing a similar style in some ways, Matt. I'm seeing uh, a lot of similarities. Yeah, looking looking in behind a little bit, willing to play the ball over the top. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a similar 3-4-3. Three, three. Uh, I think you'll find that, that LA Force's system is a lot more fluid. Mm -hmm. You've got guys like Al Wine who play yeah. traditionally in the center of the park, shifting out wide left a little right. bit, trying right. to get space. That puts the left wing back Casillas up a little bit higher. Yeah, uh, they're not afraid to change positions at all. They're very flexible. And Fly's going to go up against, yeah, against uh, I think, Sam Goni there. Is, again, Sam Goni looking dangerous there. The flag is mm -hmm. the flag is up. The other thing you'll have to notice is the right center back, Archiseta, mm -hmm. was overlapping big time on that play right. um, before, before putting the cross. And that's also a feature of the system. One of those, one of those center midfielders will always hold mm -hmm. and, and, and help take a little bit of the shape if Archiseta goes. Okay. Uh, it, it's a tough it's a tough system to defend against because uh, because all the positions are pretty fluid. Ibanoski now he's going to go over the top, looking for Barrera and he's got him. Barrera now he's dancing. Sean Russell is able to deflect the ball out of play for a throw in. There's an opportunity here, Madrigal, but it's going to be deflected over the top. Spearman for a corner. This portion of the broadcast brought to you by Freebets. So, LA's first corner. This is a Chick-fil-A corner. Eat more chicken. And we'll see what they do with this. If they have strategy for corners, I'm sure they do. It'll be Christian Ivanovsky. Okay. Let's see what he does here. CFC's got everybody back defending this. Just everybody back in the box, actually. There's nobody ready to make a break. If you're going to break their one. Go short. Bit of a bit of an awkward touch there, yeah, and it's crossed over the bar. Didn't get hold of that very well. Chance just needed to reset. I think they've been a bit under pressure a little bit here for the last few minutes. Yeah, not a great first touch there by Ochoa. Tries to make up for it with a with, with decent ball over the top, just a little bit too hard, uh, a little bit too hard, a little bit too high, and CFC gets a chance to clear the lines and reset now. And by the looks of it, Reddington's going to be going long here. Obvious target would be number 24, Sean Hofstadter. Hofstadter, he's probably fouled there. Referee agrees with me. Yep, definitely a push on the back. A bit hard, hard to see from our angle up here, Simon. Don't have the, uh, can't hear the referee's whistle as Tate Robertson goes quickly. Hoff trying to break in. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Brett Jones. No, no foul given, and now LA Force have a chance, chance to for a break, and they're looking for Sammy Goni. Watch this. Richard Dixon is able to head the ball away, and he's not able to keep it in play. He plays it back for safety. That's the main thing. Casillas, and he's going to go back to Seamus McLaughlin and reset things. All the way back to Brandon Gomez. Colwell. Out wide now. Ochoa playing kind of in a right back role, even though when he sits in defense, he's in right center back, remember? Looks like LA Force is trying to draw CFC up. Uh, and out of this mid block. I think they're trying to pull him out of position a little bit. Yes, draw him up a little bit yeah. higher up the field. Yeah. Yeah. Disconnect a little bit uh, the, the center backs in the, in the back line. Uh, McLaughlin goes over the yeah, top now. Again. Spielman's just going to play it out of play.
Brett Jones with the steal to Robertson. And Kasek's just going to have to clear. Daniel Jackson in the way, though. He's all the way back, though. He's having to come back to get the ball. Russell with the clearance out of play for a throw in. And they thought certainly keeping the pressure off. Nothing uh, coming of it yet, but they're certainly keeping the pressure on. Uh, playing a pretty, pretty aggressive, pretty high press so far in this game. We'll see if they can keep that up, of course, because that does require a great deal of energy, concentration to do for the whole 90 minutes. CFC is struggling to keep possession right mm -hmm. now. That's not necessarily good good tackle there by Damian Rodriguez. That's not necessarily surprising, mm -hmm. uh, given, given how good the LA force can be in possession. Uh, and, and it looks like it's part of the game plan to, to sit back, to, to absorb some pressure, to look to get on the break, it and is. to take your moments yep. in, in, in the attack. Yep, there's no doubt Coach Fuller will watch videos of that A-Force in action, so he'll know what to expect at different stages of the game. Um, but having said that, the table says Chattanooga above that A-Force. So. <laughs> Rodriguez continually not letting Casillas by. Robertson's just going to clear along. Hernandez now looking for it. A pulling there. Bit of a shout there for a foul on Seamus McLaughlin for, uh, referee, yeah. but the referee is not interested in, in the giving, he's giving one to it, CFC. But he's not, uh, yeah, not going to do anything at this point. Now James Kasak with some time and space. James Kasak running now. Oh, and a good tackle there by Osha Seda. Yeah. Now CFC is going to have to be careful here. LA Force trying to start a secondary break. Tate Robertson with a big clearance. Didn't know he had Dixon right there. Damian Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Is he just going to go by? He is going to go by. Damian Rodriguez. Can he get across it? Two defenders on him. Rodriguez. That, nice. Is that ball out? The That's referee says it's not out. Know, out for a corner, but okay. That, uh, fans, fans don't like the call. No, I, I thought it was out for a, for a corner, but okay. I'm trying to be impartial right I here, know, so I won't say that. anything. We're, do, we're doing our best not to be too against tonight. We're trying to be commentators. <laughs> Robertson. <laughs> diagonal out to James Kasak, but it's going to be a little bit too far in front of him. Well, we've got a score update for you at the halftime in the Stumptown Cal United game. Stumptown 2 1 up at halftime. So, uh, Stumptown having a good game. Can hold that score to the end, but we know what happens in the second half of the game. Let's go. <laughs> Barbalutes will be feeling pretty good right now in Stumptown. That's right. Reddington. He's going long. He's looking for Brett Jones. LA Force is going to win possession here. Ivan Opsky. Good pass into Sierra Reese. Barrera is able to hold to Ojaseda, who's going to go long. He's looking for Ibanovsky, but James Kasak is there. LA Force throw in. Center for Sports Medicine time. Taking, taking a bit of a beating there from yeah, Sean Russell. It is. <laughs> During the attacking third. A little one two action. Rodriguez isn't going to let us see us by. Quick throw, and now it's Madrigal. A little flick over the top towards Casillas. Trying to get by Richard Dixon. Yep, Richard Dixon wins that one. Unhappy with. Uh, Casillas is going down a little bit too easy. Mm -hmm. Now he's getting double team. Rodriguez, though, very responsible defensively helping back out. CFC is not able to get the ball out of their own half. It's Ivanovsky now. Hofstadter picks it off easily. Quick turnover. Could have been a handball there. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I saw. 
looked like an outstretched arm, but referee doesn't think so. Casillas now. McLaughlin. He's just going to go all the way back to Brandon Gomez. Gomez is going to go long from the 27-yard line. Diego Barrera is unable to control. Richard Dixon will get us back underway. 26th minute. Still not too much happening, especially on the attacking side for CFC. So the referee's trying to play advantage here. Yeah, injury, they got a, yeah Richard they Richard took a pretty big hit there coming in for the for he the did. header. He went half that header and uh, that was a collision there. It's an intentional foul, but uh, he did treat those head injuries seriously. Which was okay. You see trainer Robert Williams at the bottom of your screen looking on. Doesn't look like he's gonna be needed. Spielman will get us back going here. Okay, both teams go to have to reset after that. Catch their breath too and get some water. And we're going at it pretty hard. And yeah. Robertson out to Russell. Russell is playing it into the middle. He can't find Damian Rodriguez. And that ball's heading towards Samuel Goney. This could be a problem for CFC. Goney cuts back, lays it up, but Richard Dixon's there. Good defending. And applause the crowd for that. Danger's not done though. Ooh. And Dixon, the header away, it's gonna be a corner kick. Dixon's having a stellar game tonight. <laughs> He's keeping Chattanooga safe. A lot of a lot of nervy defending there. Uh, LA Force being able to mm. recycle an attack uh, from one dangerous attack into another dangerous attack. So LA Force for the second corner kick. This is a chip play corner kick, eat more chicken. And we'll see what LA Force do with the second corner. They're going to go long this time. And it's going to go all the way through for a goal kick. Oops, out for a goal kick. Both teams get to reset. Certainly LA Force, the lion's share of the pressure so far tonight. But as we said, can they keep that up? If they don't get results from it, will they change their tactics a little bit? Reddington going long. Hofstadter tries to win the header. But it trinkled out to, to Hernandez. Now it's Damian Rodriguez. Rodriguez, he's getting good double team. Tries to get across and but across his block, it will be a throw. Now here's an opportunity. Looks like Sean Hofstadter is coming over to take this. CFC with not a lot of opportunities. Not surprising you have your have your best long throw option. See if CFC can get this set piece to work out. Get on the board here in the 29th minute. Off. Towards Spielman, but it's right back out. Ivanovsky is just going to clear it. He's got Samuel Goni running for it, though. And great touch from Sean Russell. Yes, thanks, sir. Stay calm with Samuel Gunn charging at you. Hard to do. Robertson was thinking about what to do there. Goes back to Dixon. Dixon launching in. Go Spielman deep. trying to flick on. It's not in the direction of Daniel Jackson. Spielman's going to have to hustle to get back on defense. Brandon Gomez will reset for L.A. Colwell. He's out to Ochiseta. Russell's going to go over his head. And that 
errant LA pass sends it right into touch for a throw in. Jackson trying to head it back in. That was Kasak on the tackle. Barrera now. Barrera dribbling through a couple of guys. This could be dangerous. That's Alwine going out wide to Ibanoski. You switch to the left-hand side. Ibanoski crosses the ball in. McSpielman's able to clear it. Daniel Jackson can't judge the flight of the ball. Now he's got another shot here. Now it's Goni. Read by Russell. Kasak. I think they're going to call a foul on Kasak there, and I think they did. I think it's a high foot from Kasak, but... Uh... Just sustain pressure from LA Force. They are really desperate to get that goal and uh, get the open shot and no doubt about that. The free kick and a chance for, for someone like Diego Barrera to whip a ball in. It's the move from this side of the box. Certainly it's interesting to see how even out the goal is being scored. There's an awful lot going on during this game and it's very interesting soccer to watch. Um, it's not just about the goals, it's about the, the skill and the... Uh, the tactic used, and there's an awful lot happening in this field tonight. Keep your eyes on, folks. And a lot of sustained pressure from LA. Mm -hmm. Chattanooga having to defend, having to defend a little bit in waves at times, struggling to get out uh, and possess the ball in the middle of the field. Here comes free kick. Whipped in. Reddington, he punched it, tried to come for it, couldn't get it. Reddington again, he punches away, but only to Alwine. And Alwine's going to go for one here. And there we are. Reddington's finally got to the ball, but that was a lot of... Uh... And now he's going long. He's going towards, Dan uh, he's going towards Dan Daniel Jackson. Jackson trying to make something happen. But if only for a little bit, CFC's able to clear their lines and reset the defense. Dangerous opportunity, Richard Dixon, he's going to play it out for a throw-in. That is the danger with those diagonal balls across the field from LA Force. They aren't looking for any opportunity they get. They see somebody running, they take off. I think there's been a bit of a tactical switch here. Juan mm -hmm. Hernandez seems to be playing a lot deeper. Yeah, I think Daniel Jackson's the lone strike at the moment. Uh, Juan has come back to the out. And I think Brett Jones has to a little bit. Yeah, Brett Jones playing a little bit now underneath Daniel Jackson. Right. Uh, Good opportunity there for L.A. Uh, but Pereira can't get anything on the cross and will be cleaned easily by Alec Reddington. It's been a busy night tonight, Alec Reddington. He's certainly uh, earning his paycheck today. <laughs> yes. And in possession, as Dixon goes long, it looks like he's aiming for Sean Hofstadter, who's playing a little higher. Three the foul for that challenge. He might have a conversation here with, with Hofstadter. He, I think he will. Let's see what they say, yeah. LA player down. It's like Alewine's gone down. No, Casillas 22, sorry. Casillas. And the coach comes to check he's okay. But he's got quite a knock in that, uh, that challenge for the ball. Uh, this portion of the game uh, sponsored by EPB Fiber Optics. As we go into the... Uh, Last third of the first half, still nil-nil, but uh, a lot of action on both sides of the, of the, uh, both sides of the field. The referee had a bit of a conversation mm -hmm. there with Sean Hofstadter, but elected to keep his cards in the pocket. Let's see that again, Matt. I say it's just a collision. Well, yeah, it, it, it really just seems as a coming together. Yeah. Hofstadter's foot's out, but he doesn't get him with the foot; he gets him with the body. Yeah, it's not. It's not an aggressive attack. I think I think a yellow card would have been, been quite harsh. harsh. That would have been harsh. Yeah, that's. Uh, 
Something we've seen in every match at uh, Finley Stadium, just players watching the ball, not each other. So, you can see us getting a breather for a moment, which is okay. So, LA will play with 10 men for a few seconds. Casillas is already back out there now. That's good. That was okay. To Colwell. Down to Seamus McLaughlin. Brandon Gomez itching out. He's going to go long here. Dixon heading to midfield. LA is able to win possession. So to say to now, the left footer, going to swing one in, feel an easy header out. A little bit of a miscommunication there from CFC. Dangerous opportunity. Sean Russell's able to make the clearance, but only as far as Ciro Reese, number eight. This is Alwine. Alwine down to Abinoski. Nice little cut back in. Sam Goni now. He's going to spray it out. Shot opportunity here. And Ooh. Reddington makes the save. Good save. Ball kind of bobbles away from him, but he does manage to get hold of it. Uh, at the second time of asking. But a great, that great play from Sam Goni there. It's what we saw when he played in Chattanooga FC, just ducking and diving, looking for that gap all the time. He's still an extremely dangerous player. Yeah, Simon, I can't, can't agree more. <laughs> you can definitely see there's a clear there's a clear change in the way LA Force want to mm -hmm. play mm -hmm. with him as the number nine compared to someone like Christian Chaney. Yeah, Daniel um, Jackson's get called for offside here. Although I think there's there might be a LA Force players are walking backwards like there was a foul called in, yeah, on on Alwine yeah. from Damian Rodriguez. Rodriguez got a knock, came a bit hard on the young lad there. So he's uh, talking to the LA Force players about that and telling them to take it easy. Now, big opportunity here for CFC. Big bodies are forward. Tate Robertson over the ball. Robertson with several assists this year uh, in, in 2021. Mm -hmm. What do the Blues have planned? Robertson. Oh, big opportunity there. Was it touched at all? Referee doesn't think so. Yeah, I think it was out for a goal kick, but uh, right over Daniel Jackson. If he made contact with that, that would have been uh, a great goal. Just in that, just in that awkward place between Daniel Jackson and Nick Spielman. Mm -hmm. It was. Now LA trying to decide if they're going to go short or long. It's long. He's got his man, though. Nick Spillman's going to get called for a foul there on Diego Barrera. Madrigal. Madrigal's just going to go back to Colwell. Barrera. Slides it across for Machuseta. Nothing doing, and it's back to Colwell. Back to Brandon Gomez. Alwine to Ivan Olsen. Dangerous opportunity here for LA Force. Flag's going to go up. Again, on Sammy Goni, I think. But uh, again, looking extremely dangerous as they try to slide that ball through a tiny gap and Sammy jumps on it. Luckily, Tate Robinson was back there to cover, but uh, Sammy is just a danger man. Nick Spielman had set up, uh, had stepped up a little bit there, and normally he's the last man. Mm -hmm. You saw Tate Robinson running back. Correct. Tate Robinson came back to cover, which is going to great teamwork. And you see a need to uh, do something about it. You just see that again quickly. That was a very fast move indeed. There's Sammy, Sammy making the move, coming in, and Tate Robinson streaming back. And just shepherding the ball out, not knowing the flag. 
Robertson now trying to go in behind towards Brett Jones. It's just a little bit too far. Yeah. Nice idea from Tate Robertson there. Bit too much on that. Trying to catch L.A. Force off of a quick turnover. Yeah, maybe Chattanooga's best route to a goal at the moment is a quick turnover. Would, that. Wouldn't be that shocking. No, Bran Brandon no. Gomez is known for playing a pretty aggressive uh, line. He's as very high up, isn't he? From, he comes from the out of the box a lot. Robertson with an opportunity now. He's trying to give it to Daniel Jackson. Oh, oh no. no, Brett Jones just could not wow. quite get it under control. And now here's a big opportunity. Spielman's able to deal with it. McLaughlin with the header. Dixon now with the header. And Guerrero's running. And Hernandez is judged to have won the ball. Hofstadter to Kasak, and Kasak just... Oh, it gives it away badly. Now, Ibanovsky, this could be mm. real problematic for CFC. Ibanovsky, he's going to try to curl it, oh. and he just misses. Wow, just past the far post. That was very dangerous. That was the best strike so far tonight, and Ivanovsky was wanting to repeat what he did in the last game, and that goal, that was uh, way beyond Alex Stretch, unfortunately. So two or three, move. two or three move. giveaways right there, yeah, kind really. of back to back to back, and it's James mm -hmm. Kasak. Um, well, it was Sean Hofstadter who played a ball in mm -hmm. towards James Kasak right. uh, on, on the left side of the field. Hofstadter not seeing an LA a force defender kind of behind Kasak, and Kasak just hoofed it towards the center of the field. Uh, right to an LA Force player, and it started the counter attack. Very dangerous uh, situation there. Absolutely, LA Force will punish you do that kind of thing. I'm sure that's what Coach Phil has drilled in the players. Uh, Al Wine takes it off of Damian Rodriguez. I think you mentioned that the half time talk, too. Sean Russell with a great play, and Russell's going to continue his run now towards Brett Jones. Jones keeps it in play. Russell still continues. Russell. Russell, can he do, Russell, can he do anything? Oh, that's going to be that's going to be offside. Oh, yeah, move, yeah, that's going to be offside. What an opportunity nice there, Sean move. Russell, looking for the volley but couldn't just quite get it to settle for him. Had to take one extra touch. That would have been something right there. Michigan Stars have taken a lead on New Amsterdam, table topping New Amsterdam. That's interesting because the Michigan Stars have not been great so far this season. They're still right at the bottom. Maybe looking forward, maybe picking up three points. Yeah, there. Michigan Stars. Michigan Is Stars that? sitting on one point, right. uh, losing two matches, drawing one. Their last one against Stumptown last week. That's interesting. So that's a that's a big that's a big goal so for then, Michigan Stars. It is. All right, in the last few minutes of the first half, still nil nil, but uh, edge of the seat stuff for Chattanooga several times tonight. And while we have a moment, Stumptown is still up 2-1 to one on Cal United Strikers in the second half. Okay. McLaughlin now. Just two minutes in stoppage time in the first half. Goni with a chest down towards Sierra Reese. Great block there by James Kasak. McLaughlin, he's going to go in behind. And Russell's able to get ahead on it. It's going to stay in play now. Spielman with the header away. Robertson's just going to try to clear, but only as far as Alwine. Alwine to Ibanowski. A little trickery, a little flare in the Argentine. That's a bicycle kick there. <laughs> that would have been the goal of the season if that had gone in. Looks like a bike from Casillas. Yes, it was a very, very nice little bit of play. It's optimistic, but I can listen. I love, can respect it. Love to see those. I always love to see them. I'm thinking of Danny Ings' goal from last weekend at Aston Villa. I'm like, I love seeing those. <laughs> Reddington going long now, headed away. Kasak, he's not going to quite be able to get there though. But Hofstadter getting back on defense, and Russell's going to reset. Wouldn't it be great if CFC could get one here in the last, the dying embers of the this first is half? Probably the perfect time to get one. Robertson, he's going for it. Gomez comes out. Foul, foul, a shot for a foul there. I think so. The referee and the referee puts his hand in the other direction. There's a word with Gomez about it, but no card. Yeah, he's going to get some disagreement from that one from the fan Absolutely. base. Absolutely. Brett Jones going down hard there. He's becoming way out of his box. Referee is talking to everyone and trying to calm him down a little bit. We're going to have a replay here for you. Yeah, let's see that again. Okay. Gomez is way out of his box. It's James Kasak trying to make a chase. Look at this. Hmm. Yeah. Look at him. Way out of the box. Chattanooga can capitalize on that and the keeper is way out. That's 
what we'd like to see. Is that ball touching the uh, touching the edge of the penalty box? It is. The foul was actually further out. So we're going to have one minute of added time. Let's see if either side can make something out of it. It's been super tight so far. And the referee gave a yellow card there to Peter Fuller just off your screen. <laughs> That's the coach. So this extra time sponsored by HHM. If you need extra time in your business, contact HHM. They can help. Gomez can go long. Russell seals off his man. Take like a CFC throw in. And they're just going to move up the ball. Move the ball up the pitch. I think so. A well, maybe a series of throws here. Run the clock down a little bit. I think both sides would like to get into the, uh, the cool of the locker room. Fred Jones now. Hofstadter. Out to Kasak. And the last chance for Chattanooga. Case that goes back to Russell. Russell's going to try to put a diagonal in. Easy for Brandon Gomez, though. Can't be much time left. I think that's the run out, surely. There wasn't much stoppage during the game. Apart and that's that, going to be it. That's it, yeah. There wasn't a whole lot of stoppage time. The game flowed extremely fast and extremely well. We didn't get a lot of stoppage, so... Um, from from Hernandez and Hofstetter, I think I think so that uh, as we get underway here, I think so that CFC gets a little bit better, uh, a, a player a little bit better in possession in the middle of the field. Right. Kasak going to go long towards Hernandez. Melee Force was able to win the ball back fairly quickly, but can't really do anything with it. And CFC is going to reset now for their second attack. This uh, portion of the broadcast brought to you by the Henry Lofts. Russell over the top. Ochoceda. That's Hofstadter looking for looking for Jones. Finds Hernandez. Send it in towards Daniel Jackson, but Jackson's header straight to a Los Angeles force player. Casillas now. Barrera to Sierra Reese. Good takeaway by Tate Robertson. And Juan Hernandez was being held back there. So it'll be a CFC free kick. Spielman's going to elect to take the 10 yards he was deserved. Well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I would. <laughs> Let's see what seems to do with this free kick. Hey, short. Gonna, gonna go short. Now Robertson looking. Robertson trying to find Kasak. Now it's a three on three. Goni now. Running towards Spielman. Goni. Oh. The referee's gonna uh -oh. give a penalty there. Yeah, that was a bad tackle. Bad tackling. Goni goes straight down in the box. Nick Spielman saying, who me? But he touched him, put him over. That's not a good place to make a, tackle, a foul. Nick Spielman right now is having a conversation with the assistant referee. He thinks it's soft. Uh, he doesn't hit him with any of his feet. It's mostly an, an arm challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, he thinks something went down too easily. Watch this. See if he went down too easily or not. It's, uh, it's a bit of a stumble. He could have got up. Yeah, CF uh, CFC going to feel gonna, gonna yeah. feel like that's a pretty soft one. A cheap, cheap penalty. It's also not something you want to give up two minutes into the second half. Not really. Yep, 
quick run up. Pretty stand the penalty kick. Sends the keeper the wrong way and LA Force take the lead in the 49th minute. You can see Spielman pleading his case there, but it doesn't, it's referee's not interested in that one. It's not going to make any difference, is it? 1-0 to LA Force. And now CFC's got 42 minutes to to figure out a little a little bit of offense. They're going to have to come out of their shell a little bit. Uh, take some chances. They're going to have to take some chances, yep. put some bodies forward. That's going to make LA Force even more dangerous yep. on the counterattack. Yeah, that's a well taken penalty kick. No problem with that. But uh, we'll see what Chattanooga we'll see with the back foot. We'll see what the Blues have have yep. in store here. A little unfamiliar position. Let's see what happens. We'll see how they play a little bit harder. Not to get the ball like that quite so easily, <laughs> a little bit harder. See if he's going to retain possession there. I'm not sure how how you don't call a foul on on that mm -hmm. uh, on that play by by <laughs> Daniel Jackson, but you give a penalty for Nick Spielman. Uh, but that's not my job. Right. <laughs> Hernandez now trying to play through, but was well read by Ivanovsky. Coming together there, players. Yeah, Tate Robertson fouled on the header. He's still down. It's been quite a knock. Not Tate Robertson over. He's a pretty tough guy. It's really not something you want to see, Tate Robertson. Not really at all. No. He's uh, integral to the attack. Stalwart and center midfield, both in, in, in possession and then starting uh, or, you know, that first, second line of defense. He'll be warming up for either side just yet, but I'm sure there'll be players coming off the bench in the next 10 minutes or so. Dixon's going to take. Dixon floating it in. Not much doing there, but it'll be a CFC throw in now. Russell. Russell looks to be going long here. Russell ends up going short. A little combination with Kasak. Kasak trying to whip it in. Back post. And no one's home. LA Force not able to clear their lines. They're the fresh from CFC. They're a little bit too strong that time. The goal was able to gather it up. Robertson trying to send it right back, but unable to. Sam Goni's going to get called for a foul there, disrupting Richard Dixon, trying to head the ball. I think he was trying to head the ball back to Alec Reddington. Russell now. Tate Robertson's come a little bit to the wide left. To Hernandez. Hernandez looking for the diagonal to Damian Rodriguez, and he's got him. Rodriguez now. He's got Daniel Jackson. Jackson trying to get around. Jackson's cross is going to be out of play for a goal kick. This is better from CFC. They're starting to spring their passes together and uh, look a little more dangerous. A little bit more urgency. Uh huh. Uh, a little bit better in possession, and even even be able to string a, two, three, four passes together now, allow them to open up there. A little bit high pressure now. Spielman, good read. A little bit fortunate there from Richard Dixon. Ball goes off an LA Force player, it'll be out for a throw in. Russell just trying to chip it over Barrera, but is unable to do so. And it'll be a throw in for LA Force. And predictably, LA Force in no hurry to take this throw in. So Joseta comes over for it. Kasak with the takeaway. Alwine with a great takeaway. That was a good middle of the field. 
Now Ivanovsky. Right by. Now it's Barrera. He's looking for... He's trying to slip it to Iv Ivanovsky. And... Okay. Good play for the defense there. Stay calm under pressure. And, uh, blocked, by, blocked by Nick Spielman and a, and a good yep. play by Damian Rodriguez Definitely. to keep the ball from going out for a corner kick and plays it off of Ivanovsky again. And Alec Reddington gets to reset things. LA Force now. The foul. Oh, yeah. Referee, I was going to say, referee, that one got away, but uh, they did call handlers back for the foul. Uh, ooh, having words there with the referee, not happy about that. Yeah, it looked like Sierra Reese went in there and mm -hmm. tried to take one right off of Juan Hernandez uh, after the whistle had blown. You can hear the crowd. Not happy with that, are they? At all. A bit of a late call from the referee. I think we're going to see a, a fairly early substitution in the second half here. Looks like it's Topher Marshall coming on. I believe that's Alec McKinley. Alec McKinley, one of the blonde guys. Okay, Alec McKinley. Let's see that again quickly. Gomez just sends it out of play for a throw in. Okay, so we're going to see that again. Sorry. Bad information for you guys. Robertson's pass, unable to find anyone. And now the substitution will take place. It's Juan Hernandez coming off for Alec McKinley. This substitution brought to you by Haygood Farms. Looking for alternative recovery methods that ensure you achieve the good and healthy life you deserve? Contact Hay, Hay Good Farms, hand cultivated in Tennessee. McKinley now is first touch on the ball. Dixon trying to slide one in for Hofstadter. Jackson plays the ball across to Kasak. Kasak now. Looking to slide one in. He's got a runner. Yeah, well. Looks like Hofstadter. Damian Rodriguez was, was waiting in behind. Now we've hit the 57th minute. You can hear the Chattahooligans drum stopping. Mm -hmm. They'll hold a minute of applause for Chattahooligan Renee Hammontree, who sadly passed away last weekend due to COVID-19. Of course, tonight's match also coincides with the vaccination clinic, the Hamilton County Health Department, in conjunction with Chattanooga Football Club. Nice touch there, McKinley, making a difference to the midfield really, I think, straight away. A good tackle there to prevent CFC from getting on the break. Chattahooligans chose 57th minutes. Jackson's got a chance. Oh, Jackson almost put it past Gomez. Gomez at full stretch there. Great play. Now there's now there's a little bit of the, from the attack uh -huh. from CFC. That's much better from CFC. The first real attack tonight after going to now play. Uh, as I was saying earlier, CFC chose the 57th minute because Renee would have been 57 in just a couple months. Her husband, Bill, in attendance tonight. And all of our thoughts and prayers are still with the Hammondry family as they grieve. Robertson to Rodriguez now. To Dixon. To Spielman. Russell. Plays into Daniel Jackson, who bumps it back to Robertson. Goes across to Dixon now. Dixon's going to carry it forward. Mm -hmm. 
LA trying to get a long ball on the break, but it's going to be off target. Spielman now. CFC, CFC with possession. LA Force putting a little token pressure. Really just passing it around the back. Russell's going to go over the top. He was looking for Jackson or, or Jones, but the timing wasn't right. And now it's Madrigal. Casillas. Jackson's been judged to have committed a foul. So one hour in, one nil still to LA Force. That was that penalty kick. Um, Chapman, we've got four or five people warming up. So of LA Force, I think we'll see some more fresh faces soon on here. Let's do that again. Is that a foul? What do you think? Well, it came behind him. I don't think it was pretty yeah. much on it at all there. I think I think you see a lot of referees give that. Uh, I don't think I don't think Jackson is too much to say about that. Uh, I think there are plenty of other calls if you wanted to complain about the refereeing yep. that you could, uh, but probably not that one. The referee certainly doesn't like anybody attacking from behind. That's a no-no anyway. You cut it. So. LA Force now. Sierra Reese on the, the free kick. Spielman clears it away. Straight Good. to Seamus McLaughlin. The defense chat they're pushing out. Dixon with the header, and he gets fouled in the process. It'll be a free kick. The clash of heads there, I'm afraid. Cabrera getting the knock. Really, a force player still down. Yes, he's uh, going to take his time there, take that one nil lead. <laughs> This portion of the broadcast brought to you tonight by Freebets. Reddington, fresh off of helping, helping the player up, is going to stay high and get us rolling. Now Russell, Kasak, to McKinley. Back to Russell. McKinley now to Kasak. Now there's some options. Jackson, middle of the field. Jackson looking. Great tackle there from Alwine. Totally snuffing out that chance before it became dangerous. And now LA Force here. Sam Goni on Nick Spielman again. Spielman's going to win that and win the throw in. Russell gets us back in towards Alec McKinley. The flick on. Hofstadter with the flick to Daniel Jackson, and now CFC's got some numbers here. Out to Brett Jones. Brett Jones is gonna, is he gonna shoot? He's gonna lay off to, to, to Damian Rodriguez. And Rodriguez's cross is gonna be blocked. It's gonna be a corner kick. That's okay, it wins the corner of Chattanooga. So I think that's the first one of the game. This is a Chick-fil-A corner kick. Eight more chickens. So let us see what Chattanooga do with this corner kick. This is a uh, good position. The pressure is on and they should be able to keep momentum going and make something out of this. Simon, that's a pretty big, big opportunity there it for is. CFC. You've had a couple yes. now in these last in, in these first 17 minutes of the first or of the second half, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think one of those really probably should have found the back of the net. Uh, but now there's a corner kick opportunity here. Looks like maybe Tate Robertson with the right foot, maybe James Kasak with the left foot. Kasak runs over it. It's going to be Robertson looking for the back post. Spielman, the header. Rodriguez now unable to control, but McKinley is able to 
to play it back to Richard Dixon. And now it's Robertson, the right side of the field. Robertson can use his left foot. Jackson now, it falls to him. And he puts the shot on target, but it's ultimately yeah. right at Brandon Gomez. Not a great shot. Chattanooga getting ready to make two changes. That was going on, Matt. We've got uh, Cam Woodfield and Brian DeMent waiting to come on. So that's two strikers. Coach Fuller going for the aggressive change here. And good read by Sean Russell there. Brandon Gomez trying to play in, in behind quickly to Casillas. And Russell's going to stay high on the left-hand side. Let's see who Coach Fuller takes off. McKinley down to Spielman to Kasak. Kasak to McKinley. McKinley dribbling. Jackson helping back in possession now to Spielman. Robertson going to go across to Spielman. Now Robertson again. Tries to play in Jones, but the pass is a little bit behind Jones. And now Ivan Opsky has got a chance here to start the LA Force move. LA Force kept looking for something in behind. Never came, and they're back to Garan and Gomez now. Force getting substitutes ready as well. Damian Rodriguez with a great takeaway there. He's going to lay it out to Brett Jones on the right hand side. Jones now with a cross in. Oh! And take them down the box. Is that a penalty? Crowd wants a penalty. The referee doesn't care what the crowd thinks. It should be a corner kick. Sean Hostetter goes tumbling. I always expect that to be another penalty call, but apparently not. So Cheney and Alvarado coming on for LA Force in a moment. Let's see who they replace. As you just saw the replay there. Damian Rodriguez is going to be coming off for Cam Woodfin. Substitution that happened maybe five or four or five minutes pr uh, earlier in the previous match. That's, a, and that's yeah, Daniel Jackson there. coming off for Brian Beamett. Interesting. I expect to see that. So okay. I think like for like in both scenarios. Oh, absolutely. But I, I thought Jackson would stay on play the whole game. Okay. For Los Angeles Force, mm. it'll be Sam Goney coming off for Christian Cheney. So Cheney number 21 and Alvarado number 27. See yeah. who replaces. Ed Edson Alvarado number 27. Normally a central midfielder. We'll see who he replaces. Uh, fresh legs all round. And it's number 80. That'll be Alvaro Madrigal. Madrigal. Okay, yeah, right. So, okay. All right. Changes all round, both teams. Right about the hour mark as normal. I'm trying to get ready to take this corner kick. So, Chad, we can make something happen. This is a good time to have. A bit of magic. <laughs> Kasek this time. Doesn't beat the first man, though. Quick throw, and we're back in. Cross coming in. Looks like McLaughlin that took care of it, though. Sean Hofstadter deflected off of him and deflected off of the L.A. Expecting a corner out of that, but I think it's going to go via goal kick. Looks like the referee gave a handball on on Sean Hofstadter. Ah. Explain why they didn't get the goal kick. Goal kick. <laughs> so now this is going to change how LA Force plays with with Christian Cheney going to be in. Uh, he'll still make runs in behind like Sam Goni did, but he's obviously a massive aerial presence. And you can see battling right there. Richard Dixon getting the best of him in that exact moment. Uh, but you can bet LA Force will be aiming at Cheney to release pressure for the last 22 minutes of this match.
Woodfin. Looking for Beamett. Beamett trying to make a flick. LA Force is going to clear. There will be another CFD throw in. This is a little better from CFC, certainly more pressure on LA Force this part of the game. I think the Force happy to sit back and defend their lead at this point rather than try for a second. Russell now to Spielman. Spielman goes over the top towards Sean Hofstadter. I don't think he made contact though. And Ocho State is going to win the header and knock it out for a throw in. Hofstadter now. Waiting for Spielman to come forward. A couple of big targets there for CFC. You got Nick Spielman, you got Alec McKinley. And Hofstadter throws. And Gomez is going to come out and he's going to hold on. Yep, a bit of goalkeeping there. Be strong, come forward and call for the ball. That's uh, what the keeper does. Just a little bit of, I think the timing was just a little mm -hmm. bit off. It was obviously a great, great aggression from the, from the uh, LA force keeper, Brandon Gomez. Kasek's going to keep that in. Hofstadter now. And Hofstadter's not quite able to he's, flick it over to James good, Kasek. He's not that good. Who was on his horse, though. <laughs> he really was flying. He was ready to go. <laughs> Ciro Reese out towards Christian Ivanovsky. It's taken away by Cameron Woodfin. Woodfin's going to lay it out. That's Brett Jones there. Brett Jones with the cross. Oh. It's just over everybody. Sean Hofstadter now in the corner. Hofstetter tries to play a cross in, and it'll be a throw in. Hofstetter not going to go long this time. Going to play it in for Tate Robertson. Robertson, a little bit of a nervy play there for LA Force. They're able to clear. And he's got a man if he can find him. He goes for it. Ivanovsky now there. And he's playing over the top. And Sean Russell, I think trying to head the ball, looking uh, a little bit scared about Christian Cheney coming in. Uh, yeah. Tries to head, head the ball out towards towards Alec Ruddington. Ruddington started to come off his line. Mm -hmm. That was a safety for a corner, though, which is uh, better than a goal shot. So this is a Chick-fil-A corner. Eat more chicken. In case you're curious, the uh, final score in Matthews, North Carolina, Stumptown 2, Cal United 1. Interesting result there for Stumptown. That's good for them. Big in swinger. Well, that's a bit too deep. I think that's beyond anybody's reach. All right, this portion of the broadcast brought to you by Food City. Reddington. He's going to go long. Looking for McKinley. McKinley with a big flick. LA Force are going to have possession. And now they've got Casillas in a little bit of space. Tate Robertson out to defend. Plays in Kristen Cheney. Russell and Cheney battling. Now it's Alvarado. Dangerous opportunity. Reddington's going to have to come and clear the or clean this thing up, and he does. Pass could have been better there from Edson Alvarado, it must be said. And a little bit of miscommunication from Reddington. Definitely. Sean there. Russell. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. James Kasak coming back, and now he's going to play in long. Looking for Brian Beamett. Beamett trying to keep possession. Just can't quite. Zach McKinley gets megged. But Richard Dixon with a big tackle. Now Woodfin. Brett Jones, it's taken away. Ivanovsky, out to Edson Alvarado. Al Wine, Alvarado again. A nice little back heel flick from Christian Cheney there. But Sean Russell read it, cleared it, and then was subsequently fouled. Seventeen minutes to go. LA Force one off of penalty kick. 
in roughly the 48th minute by Diego Barrera. Collision there, referee's caught in the foul. Big collision there, and they're going to get Sean Russell for that. I think they are. Here comes the card. And Sean Russell, yep. Here it is. Got foul vision. Captain and wide and McGarvey Ike can help with that. Coming on to check out the injury. Got a replay of that now. Let's see that again. Yep. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure what Russell can do there. It's just a collision. They run into each other. I mean, if if, if he just if he just you know if he stops yeah. when the ball is passed and just stands, yeah, I'm not terribly sure what he, what he can do. He can't I do think much you, else. His feet are planted. I think you give a charge in basketball. It's Obviously, a, this isn't basketball. It's a it's a chest to chest collision more than anything else. I mean, if he if he moves his mm. body to the yeah. side very clearly to obstruct the run, yes. that's an obvious yellow yellow but he card. He stands there. Yeah, he kind of just stands there. It's like, well, you can't really do much about that when you're both going in the same physical space. I think CFC is going to feel a little bit hard done by the officiating tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, now, it should be noted they've had their chances. Oh, sure. Uh, especially, sure. especially in the fir these first parts of the second half, uh, including a, a point-blank header from Daniel Jackson that was right at Brandon, er, at, right at Brandon Gomez mm -hmm. uh, that could have leveled things up. But so far, the biggest talking point is the penalty. It really is, and that's like we said earlier, it was a bit of a soft penalty. It wasn't uh, a really malicious challenge. But if it happened inside the box, then no time to get a tense penalty. In the last 15 minutes of the game. And we'll get underway now. Long ball in towards the box. The right hand's going to be able to clean it up, no issues. This final portion of the broadcast brought to you by ETB Fiber Optics. Okay, so that goes back to Reddington. He's going long, looking for Brett Jones, who won the header originally. Uh, but it, it was deflected. Like great ball there by Tate Robertson. Cam Whitfin now on the cross. But he sends it in behind. It's going to be a goal kick. Too much on that one. Yeah, good chance there for Chattanooga to get something out of it. It's like the substitution coming up for Chattanooga. Kyrie the Silver waiting to come on. Number 11. He replaces. Spielman now launches it forward. Beam it able to hold possession. Topher Marshall waiting to come on. Long haired tall guys. <laughs> Topher Marshall, not Kyle Silver. Sorry. McKinley. Comes away with the ball in the center of midfield, plays out to James Kasak. Russell, Spielman, back to Russell, back to Spielman. And he's going to go over the top towards Sean Hofstadter. Hofstadter now. And Alwine plays it out of play, it'll be a throw in. Robertson took quickly to Alec McKinley, now to Nick Spielman. It's Robertson again, left-hand side of the field. He's going to drive a little bit. Play it into James Kasak. Kasak now. Kasak with a big ball in. And it's passed away. But only as far as Richard Dixon. Now it's McKinley. McKinley with a shot. It's always going wide. Nice attempt, but a long way out to shoot and be on accurate on goal. So passes far to the right post. Doesn't trouble going there at all. See if he keeps the pressure on. 79th minute now. Trevor Marshall sitting back down again. Maybe he's not going to come on at this moment. 
Let's see that attempt again. Long, long shot. It's only a power, but uh, always hard to be accurate so far out. A nice takeaway there from Sean Russell, and now we're going the other way. It's James Kasak. Kasak running. Kasak still running. Trying to get past Ivanovsky, and he's not going to be able to do so. And Ivanovsky made an absolute meal of that one. And a yellow card on Kasak. Really, Ivanovsky just tumbled over. And uh, the players gathering around the referee. We'll see that one again. Absolutely. I've mostly hurt more by the scoreboards than by the actual contact. Let's see that again. He just stumbles over. There's absolutely nothing in there. There's no contact. Oh, well. <laughs> so, yellow card there. Got foul vision. Captain and White and McGarvey. I care. Can help with that. Crowd giving the green team mm. peace of their mind at the moment. <laughs> Gomez will get us back underway. In the last 10 minutes of regulation play, there'll be quite a bit of extra time for those stoppages, though. And uh, referees stopping again. Some of these are fairly normal challenges, they aren't particularly aggressive, but it's LA Force. Using the full action powers of Hollywood. And you may not uh, think you may not think that some of these yellow cards are gonna to matter too much in the grand scheme of things, but we are playing uh, this year in this eighteen game fall season mm -hmm. five yellow cards mm -hmm. warrants an automatic one game suspension. Yeah, they do accumulate. Let's see that again. Because again that was two players going for the ball. I don't think it's particularly a malicious tackle. I think the referee sees that Sean Russell is gonna go through the back of Christian Cheney here. Well, that's a fairly normal two players going for the ball. I think Russell's trying to explain right now that yeah. when when Cheney backs up, he's backing into Russell right. anticipating the and contact avoid as opposed to just holding his ground. Correct. Which we see day in, day out in soccer matches all over the world. More importantly, time ticking off the clock right oh, now. That's and also, we'll see we'll see if the referee adds it back on. Also a bit of gamesmanship there from that A force. And Ivanovsky sends it into Christian Cheney, but a weak header to Alec Reddington. I think it's worth noting LA Force are basically in a back four now. Mm -hmm. Ivanovsky's dropped into the right back spot, which he's played a, a good amount uh, in both Chile and Mexico. Uh, definitely protecting their leads right now. Kasak with a with an effort there, but can't quite keep it in. And now we're going to see Tova right. Marshall. Tova Marshall now ready to come on. <laughs> Number three coming off, Sean Russell. And it's going to be for Russell, and that makes sense. He's on a yellow card. Total Marsh from the attacking player, so we'll see somebody else drop back to cover Sean so Russell. We'll see. We'll see how this. Uh, we'll see how this, this. This substitution changes the formation. Uh, it could be that Kasak just becomes a left wing or becomes a left center back. Right, that's a Hague good farm substitution. And uh, looking for alternative recovery methods to ensure you achieve the good and healthy life you deserve, contact Haygood Farms, hand cultivated in Tennessee. Really looks more like a back four. No, it's Kasak's going to play kind of that left center back role. Okay. Yeah, I need Tofu fresh legs up front for sure, and that's. So Hofstadter not able to control it. 